the days, most people will throw battery waste carelessly when the electrical power runs out, even though this waste is included in the battery waste category. The battery waste that is not appropriately handled can cause environmental pollution because it contains heavy metals that are difficult to decompose. Swanto stated that the battery contains heavy metals such as lead, cadmium, nickel, cobalt, and chrome. Apart from that, there is also a mixture of manganese dioxide as the most abundant element in dry cell batteries. The manganese element can coat the water and leave stains on our clothes. So, the battery waste that is not managed correctly can cause the environmental pollution. These conditions encourage the development of bio batteries by using biodegradable materials as a substitute for heavy metals. So, what are these materials? The answer is liquid tofu waste. The tofu industry in Semarang is slowly rafting to the existence of tofu in small. It cannot be denied that tofu industry can move the economic aspect of society toward a positive trend. However, this industry has a negative impact because the liquid waste. In a year, tofu industry activity produces 20 million kilolitre of liquid waste. This liquid waste is predominantly was and potential follows the environment. The organic substance of tofu liquid waste such as protein, carbohydrate, and fat will be hydrolyzed and fermented during disposal. These fermentations occur spontaneously and anaerobically at room temperature to produce the organic acid in the form of acetic acid. The acetic acid is an electrolyte that can be used as a bio battery base. First, what are the largest EMF results from bio battery based on spontaneous fermentation of liquid tofu waste and the component tricks? Second, how does the electrical power of a bio battery cell circuit decrease when used to light a 10 mm red LED light for one hour? Third, what is the optimal composition of spontaneous fermentation of tofu liquid waste and coconut drinks as a bio battery? The research was carried out in the chemistry and physics laboratories of three state senior high schools Marang and the researchers resident. The research period is namely November 2023 until January 2024. First, spontaneous fermentation of tofu liquid waste. This process begins with taking liquid tofu waste from acetic acid coagulant in a sterile container. A total of 450 ml was filtered using a filter cloth. After that, the initial pH of the filter was measured and then stored at room temperature for 24 hours, protected from light and anaerobic condition to allow spontaneous fermentation. Second, making coconut track floor. Coconut tracks were weighed and soaked in the water at a ratio of 50% for 3 hours. The marinade is then squeezed and baked for 4 hours in the oven at 70 degrees Celsius. After that, the dry tracks are crowned with a blender and sieved. Third, making variation of the electrolyte concentration. This variation consisted of fermented tofu liquid waste and coconut tracks floor using ratio with 0, 25, 50, 75, and 100% compositions. For its electrolyte, 8 ml of 40% calcium chloride solution is given as the most optimal substance to increase the current strength and battery voltage. Fourth, bio battery assembly. The process starts by removing the layers of the used AA battery tube using a flat head screwdriver, then slowly releasing the cathode. After that, the battery phase is removed until the sink tube or anode is empty. The empty battery is filled with varying concentrations of electrolytes using a spatula and then reinstalled. Fifth, bio battery testing. Testing the EMF of bio batteries with a digital multimeter and measuring voltage, current strength, and electric circuit power using a basic meter and digital multimeter. EMF measurements are carried out individually through a battery test system and duplicated five times. The tested batteries came from Biogota and new batteries. 
Biokota Composition of 25% obtained the most significant average EMF in the treatment group. The results also prove that coconut tricks floor can increase the density of bio battery electrolytes. This results state a significant average difference between groups of EMF data with a significant value under 0.05. The average EMF of Biokota Composition 25% and ABC battery type AA is not significantly different or has the same value. The new batteries have the highest electrical power reduction value as a control group. It can light the LED optimally for one hour with a stable and high power reduction as evidenced by the constant bright intensity of the light. Biokota Composition of 25% produce the most significant average power reduction value in the treatment group. The biocota in all compositions can only light the LED optimally for the initial 10 minutes and slowly dims as the test progresses. Based on the pairwise comparison, the average decrease in biocota electrical power for each composition is the same, with adjusted significant more than equal to 0.05. Biokota Electromotive Force or EME is optimal at 25% composition with an average gain 1.59 with certainly 0.03 volt. The average EME is the same as the control group, namely 1.5 volt AA tip ABC battery. The most significant reduction in electrical power was obtained by Biokota composition of 25% with an average gain every 10 minutes for one hour. The average reduction of Biokota from all compositions differed from the control group. However, the power reduction of Biokota for all compositions is safe. Optimum composition of Biokota was found at the concentration of 25% coconut sex compared to liquid of waste. This conclusion is based on the highest AMF result, excluding the reduction in electric power, which is the same value or its composition.